I now pronounce you man and wife. Congratulations. Everyone wants their wedding to be perfect, but in films, sometimes the best weddings are perfectly awful. Hey, is the veil supposed to go like that? Yes. Why? Oh no, you look fine. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most hilarious movie weddings. Well, me, Grandma, come around. Oh, Finch said Stifler to talk to her. Grandmother f***er. What? You're a mother f***er. Yes, I am. Oh, you son of a bitch. Number 10, Bachelor Party. I said that's another example of he's on or am I wasting my time? Before Tom Hanks became a superstar, he made Bachelor Party. A body comedy of errors about, what else? A bachelor party. You know, there's a terrific moon out tonight. We think his character may still have been hung over for the actual wedding day. I sure do. That might explain his egg beater obsession and other oddities. <laughs> including a honeymoon school bus with a sign that is the last word in true romance. <laughs> Number nine, MacGruber. A love that loves in times of love. Vicky wrote that. This MacGyver parody ends with the ever resourceful special operations agent marrying the lovely Vicky, who's an especially good voice. I do. Everyone is there, even MacGruber's dead first wife and equally deceased colleagues. And of course, what's a wedding without a guest appearance from an arch enemy? No! For MacGruber, nothing says tying the knot like a little mayhem, killing, and, of course, desecration of your foe's corpse. Now that's a wedding. I do. Number eight, four weddings and a funeral. It's pretty easy. Just say I do whenever anyone asks you a question. <laughs> Four weddings mean four opportunities for fun. But whether that fun includes violence, <coughs> slightly underdressed bridesmaids, or misplaced rings remains to be seen. <laughs> careful observers may even learn a thing or two, such as be careful when choosing the person to perform your ceremony. Why I, Lydia. Why I, Bernard. <coughs> Sorry. And some people can find the sacred in just about anything. May almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Bravo! Number seven, Wedding Crashers. Sanjay Collins. Chuck Pendula. Size of beer. This flick is practically back-to-back -back funny matrimonial moments. Does anyone know what this here is used for? Rolling a fatty. No, not, not for, where'd you learn that? But they save the best for last. Wedding crasher Jeremy's own wedding, which is upended by his buddy John. Note to John, don't upstage the bride. And when apologizing, remember to stay on message. I crashed a funeral earlier, and I was, I was basically dragged to it. I went with Chaz, who you forgot to tell me is totally insane. You also might be a genius because it actually does work. Also, not everyone reacts well to dated pop culture references. Getting a nice preview of what marriage is going to be like with Ike Turner here. Sick! Oh, God, here goes. <laughs> I think I had him. I know you did. Let's go kiss the broad. Number six, The Hangover Part Two. Oh, no. I think it's happened again. The Hangover asks the question, what's funnier than a wedding where the groom has a massive sunburn and the Dan Band sings Candy Shop? You be a nympho, I'll be a nympho, got the magic stick, I'm the love doctor. The Hangover Part 2 answers that question. I want to thank the Asiatic people for allowing this in your land. A wedding where the groom has a massive tattoo on his face and Mike Tyson sings, or does something, to One Night in Bangkok. One night in Bangkok in the world. Clearly, it's the kind of wedding best enjoyed when hungover. We only have them for the night. We don't own them permanently. Understood. Married? Married. Married? Yeah, married. Number five, 16 Candles. Married? Married. Jeez. 
And now, a few invaluable tips for bridal decorum. Number one, no matter how inconvenient its timing, a bride's menstrual cycle should not be public knowledge. The monthly bill came early. Number two, there's a time and place for muscle relaxers and your wedding is not one of them. <laughs> Do I feel funky? Uh -huh. <laughs> Number three, get in shape. Your walk down the aisle should not include rest breaks. And last tip, the well-prepared bride practices with her veil before the wedding. I can't see with this thing on. <laughs> Number four, a night at the Roxbury. We're gathered here today to join together. Oh, fa Father? Did, did we already start? Yeah. Sorry, I thought there was supposed to be a buzzer or a whistle or something. Lessons learned from a night at the Roxbury? Never write your own vows. Emily, I used to see you outside my father's store, and then we went on some dates, and you let me have sex with you. <clears throat> Make sure the groom learns proper wedding etiquette. What's up? From out of town? Steve, don't hit on the bridesmaid. Keep the groom's brother away from boom boxes and John Cusack movies. And finally, always keep a backup groom handy, just in case. Go ahead, father. What? OK. Well, this is a completely new fee. Number three, I love you, man. Hello, pretty lady. I'm the brother warm up to Romances don't get much stranger than this. <laughs> Usually, it's a bride and groom professing their love at the wedding, but not here. I love you, man. I love you too, bud. I love you, dude. I love you, bro, Montana. I love you, Holmes. I love you, Brosif Goebbels. I love you, Machacha. I love you, Tico Brohe. Okay, okay. Let's uh, continue here. We're happy Peter and Zoe get married, but is she ready for all the Sydney she's gonna get? Or is there an I divorce you man in the future? <laughs> Number two, old school. Hey, I just wanna, just wanna thank you guys one last time for being here. It's, it's the best day ever. Don't even start with me. You know you're in trouble when one of your groomsmen spends the entire wedding ceremony trying to talk you out of getting married. We are gathered here together to join Franklin and Marissa. Don't do it! <coughs> and in old school, things don't get better for the bride and groom after the I do's, because there's still the little matter of the wedding band's obscenity lace total eclipse of the heart. Every now and then I get a little bit terrified I see the f***ing look in your eyes And yodel-filled rendition of Lady. We still don't understand how this guy keeps getting jobs. Keep on going till you hit the spot Give it to me baby, nice and slow Climb on top, ride it like you in the rodeo It would be so nice. Number one. The Wedding Singer. Everybody spread the words. I live in my sister's basement. The memorable wedding moments just keep coming in this movie, including iffy toasts courtesy of drunken family members and Boy George songs no one wants to hear. Do you really want you to suck. hurt me? You suck! But the topper is Sandler's unforgettable rendition of what may be the most inappropriate wedding reception song ever. This thing they call love. He's gonna make you cry, I hate you. After being stood up at the altar, the wedding singer insults most of the guests and the man who hired him. You are the worst wedding singer in the world, buddy. Sir, one more outburst, I will strangle you with my microphone wire. You understand me? Who can blame anyone for getting a little upset? Yeah, yeah. Love stinks. Love stinks. Yeah. Do you agree with our list? It would actually mean a great deal to both of us if we could just get your mother blessing. What movie wedding had you laughing all the way down the aisle? To be my awful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. That's right. That's right. For more top tens about your favorite movie moments, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Splendid, I thought. What did you think? I thought splendid. What did you think? Splendid. Splendid.